Hey guys, Mr. Wiz here. So I decided before we jump into the next lesson to spend just a little bit more time on our clicker games. What I want to show you today is how to change the ending of your game. So right now, let's look at the game that I made in the last video. So my game was called Protect the Castle. And in this game, I'm attacking the monster by clicking as fast as I can before time runs out. And when it ends, I get... I'm just going to stop it there so the music stops playing. So when it ends, I get this message. It just says game over and shows me my score. That's not terrible, but I think we can make a better ending. So I'm going to show you today how to edit um, the end of your game. You can change things such as whether you win or lose. You can also change the message that appears. So we're going to check out some of those options. All right, so in the game section, this is the same area where we grabbed our splash block. There is a section right here that just says game over and has all sorts of blocks that we can use for the ending of our game. But before we get to that, let's think about when does the game end? Right now in my clicker game, when does the game actually end? Right now the game ends when the countdown ends and that's the way that it is set up automatically. Now you can change that if you want to. So if we go, before we start editing the game over blocks, I'm gonna to go to the info section. And in the info section, we have things like score, life, countdown. I talked about that in the last video. In the countdown section, there's a block here that says on countdown end. So this is another event. We talked about events in the last video because right now our program has three events. It has the on start event, the on A button press event and the on A button release event, we're going to add the on countdown end event. So I'm gonna put this in my, co in my code over here. It doesn't matter where I put it because it's not connected to anything else. So it's its own separate event on countdown end. So now I can decide in here, what do I actually want to happen when the countdown ends? Right now, it's just ending the game and telling people to score. So I can edit that. I'm gonna go back to the game section and the first thing I can do is I can grab one of these game over blocks and I can choose to have a game over win or a game over lose. Well, in this case, the way I have my game right now, I'm just going to leave it set to win. No reason to change that. But I can change the way it looks in this area so I can give it an effect. Effects are kind of fun for when the game ends. Is it celebratory? Is it sad? It's up to you. Here's the things to remember as far as this goes. I'm editing what I want to happen when the game ends. So anything that I use over here that edits what happens when the game ends, I need to put before the game actually ends. So the game over block, this ends the game. So anything I'm going to put in there to edit it needs to come before this block. So when the game ends, I want to give it a special effect. I can go confetti, heart, smile, blizzard, it doesn't matter. I think I'm going to stick with confetti. So let's just see real quick what that looks like. there we go. So it's now has the confetti effect you guys may have saw as it was dropping there. It also put this new message that said new best score. That's kind of cool. That wasn't happening before. We can edit that if we want to as well. So I like the confetti effect. I'm going to go here. And for the best score section, this is kind of fun. There's a block here we can change. Do you want the best score to be a high score or a low score? Or do you not want that message to appear at all? So if I don't want that message to appear at all, I can use none. Um, in this case, I like it. I'm just going to leave it in there as a high score. But in some games, you might want the score to actually be low, right? Think about games like uh, golf. We don't want to get the most points. You want to get the least points, right? So if you're building a game like that, where you want the score to be low, you might want to use a low score as the best score instead of high score as the best score. Kind of fun. Other things we can change is the message. Oh, here's a little thing about the sound. You may have noticed when the game ends, there is a little sound that plays. You can change that sound, and you can also set it to loop or not, which is kind of cool. All right, so I'm not really going to mess with the sound. I like it the way it is, but I do want to change the message. So before the game ends, once again, I need to put it before the game over. 
It doesn't matter if it goes before these other ones. It just needs to go before the game over. I'm going to put a message. Um, it says, you defeated the monster. So now when people finish the game, I'm going to change the countdown just so it's easier for this video. I'm just going to set it to one second instead of 10. I can set it back to 10 later. So let's see the, what happens here. There we go. It had the little message popped up. It said, you defeated the monster. It shows the score and it shows the best score, which is currently 86. All right. That's not bad. Okay. So we talked about how to change the message. We talked about how to set it to win or lose. We talked about how to give it a special effect. Kind of cool. But what if you want two settings? What if you want a win and a lose option? Hmm. Interesting idea. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to info. Now you don't have to do this. Edit your game however you want to. I'm just showing you information that you can use if you want to use it. In the score section where we had all these blocks and we did the set score and change score, you may have noticed last time there's a block here that says on score. This is another event block. So on score and I can set a number. So maybe, you know what, 100 is not bad. I might leave it as 100, but I could change it. For now, let's keep it small. Let's make it 10 and I can change it later. I'm going to put the time back to what it was, 10 seconds. So all I really need to worry about right now is can I get 10 points in 10 seconds? Absolutely, I can. When we're editing games, sometimes it's nice to make this stuff really easy for yourself while you're testing it. That way you can make it harder later when people want to play. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do here is when I get 10 points, I want to win the game. But if I don't get that many points, then I will lose the game. So I'm going to change the way my code is. I like these blocks here, but I want them to be when I win, when I get a certain number of points. So I'm moving them to the other event. And in this section, I'm going to do a game over lose instead. So I'm going to duplicate those blocks, switch them to lose. I got to switch this to lose as well. So this is the message it's going to say when I lose. And it says saying you defeated the monster. I'm going to say the monster defeated you. And I want a negative effect. So I'm going to give it an effect as well. And this effect is going to be a negative effect, a dissolve or melt. Ooh, melt is good. Let's do melt. So if time runs out and I haven't gotten the 10 points, this is the message that will happen. But if I get the 10 points in time, this will happen instead. Let's test it. Monster defeated you, score zero. That's pretty good. All right, so Monster defeated you when I didn't get 10 points. Let's try it now with getting the 10 points. You defeated the monster. Score 10, best 86. That's pretty good. All right. So now I have two different ways that I can play this game. I can either defeat the monster, or if I don't get enough points by the time time runs out, I lose. This is pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to change the score to 100 because I think that's a better value. I'm going to keep the count down at 10. Getting 100 points in 10 seconds can be kind of hard, so good luck to my to anybody who's playing against me. All right, um, and then do I want to change anything else? You know what? I should put more information in the long text block. Click the button to attack the monster and save the castle before time runs out. It takes 100 hits to win. There we go. Now, before I go sharing this with the world, I should probably make sure the game is actually beatable. If I can't beat my game, there's a good chance no one else can either. So time for me to test my game out and make sure it is actually possible to get those 100 points. If not, I might need to give myself a little bit more time. 10 seconds might not be enough. All right, here we go. Time to test. See how fast I can click.
Oh, I got 97! That was so close! That was so close! You know what? I'm gonna leave it at 100, because even though I didn't get my first try, I bet if I tried over and over again, I could eventually get 100. That was close enough that I'm sure somebody can win. So that'll make the game nice and challenging without being impossible. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and share my game again. I am ready to share my game with the world. So just like before, we're gonna click this button up here to share it. Now, before I click share project, I want you guys to notice something right quick that wasn't here before. You see this little checkbox? It says update existing share link for this project. This is what you need to decide. If you've already shared a game with somebody and you go back and you make changes to it, do you want the changes that you made to change the original link, or would you rather create a new link? That's a good question. So in the last video I made this game, I shared the link with people in the description of the video. So I don't want to update this link because I don't want them to see the blocks that weren't in the video yet. So I'm gonna to choose to not update it. This will give me a new link that I can post. So I'm gonna copy that and put it in the description of this video. So you can decide whether you want to update your old clicker game or create a new link for this newer version of the clicker game. All right. As always, if you learned something new, please click that like button. I would love to see your game. So please copy the link and put it in the comments. And I hope you join me for our next video. See you guys later.